88 patients with end-stage renal failure are set to benefit from the Ministry of Health's decision to expand its hemodialysis program. Initially, two service providers, namely the KHMH and La Loma Luz Hospital out west, provided three dialysis treatment sessions weekly to 30 patients under the program, with the program being extended to 88 patients. Two other service providers have been brought on board, which are the Miguel Rosado Dialysis Center and Dialysis del Caribe. It's a big step. It's a big step, even though we won't be able to give the three dialysis, but definitely we will be providing from the 30, from the 30 patients, we will be able to increase it to 88 patients. This is really a serious situation, not only with, um, with kidney failure, but diabetes, which is one of the, 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 the worst scenarios that brings you to this renal failure, and we need to be conscious of what we are doing. Under the new contract, Patients will receive two dialysis treatment sessions weekly. Cabinet made this decision in order to accommodate the 58 other patients in the program's budget of $2.2 million annually. Yes, this is the hardest decision because um, when we, we wanted to do the or expand it, we had everybody said what happened with, with the other, well, with the persons that are already taking the dialysis and they cannot afford, how are you going to manage with that? Um, and you know how people say, if, if somebody dies, then they will blame it on me. I'm saying, you know what, because the person didn't, didn't get the, the third dialysis, then it is your fault. It has to be on, on, your, on your conscience. But I mentioned also, well, what happened with the other 58 patients that are out there? And really, they, those patients, they have some that they cannot even pay one of them. And you can ask the different institutions that there are patients that sometimes they only take one. It's an issue, we fully understand the needs and demands and requests from people who are afflicted that, I guess in this particular case with end stage renal failure and require dialysis. So I, we do understand that, that, that demand and that request. However, you need to understand as the minister said that there's a whole series of competing demands. So while it may seem like 1 million, 1.5 million is not, it's within the context of all the other requests and other needs that exist out there in the Ministry of Health. And as a, as a responsible ministry, we need to look at, for example, cancer care as well, which is another big issue, um, and, and other, other um, issues in, in, in the health sector. Um, right now, we would want to also invest quite a bit in terms of the preventive aspects. So if you add up all these, it, it, 1.5 may look like a little bit, but it is a significant challenge, and um, I think we need to face it as a society um, with all the different partners to see how we can address those other issues. The KHMH and La Loma Luz Hospital are charging GOB $290 per dialysis session. The Miguel Rosado Dialysis Center and Dialysis del Caribe have settled for $210 per session. They are standards of care, and I think we need to stress that. Um, because one of the other questions um, that I think we have been asked is how comes Carl Houston and Loma Luz may seem to be getting paid more for a particular session. But be, because it's tied into that, you, I mean, the investment has been done in training personnel both at Carl Houston and at Loma Luz to try to scale up their quality care that they're given because it's a holistic approach that we are taking. It's not just a simple session. You have more personnel at these two facilities than perhaps what you will have at the other two facilities. Um, we were able, because they were part of a government payment, to have a closer relationship with these two institutions than we had with other two private institutions. The way we are trying to guarantee that that standard of care is kept across the board for the four institutions now, it, it's factored in. They are going to be paid on a monthly basis based on the amount of sessions. We are going to be looking at specific indicators to talk about quality of life in terms of how many years they are surviving with the particular care. So it's not just a simple walk-in session where you're just hooked up to a machine and then you're unhooked and go about. That's not there. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.